Hey there, folks. Today we have a topic that might step on some toes. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to another brand new installment of seven minutes in the morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. I'm trying to figure out what the heck is going on here with my microphone. No, that's not better. Is that better? That's a little bit better. How about that? Yeah, we'll go with that. All right. So, uh, hey, Joe, good morning. Uh, good to see you this morning, everyone. As you join, please do as Joe did. Leave a comment, a thumbs up, a wave, whatever is appropriate in the venue in which you are watching to let me know that you are there. All right, hang on. This is really bothering me. I got to get this whole microphone thing figured out here. That's a little bit better. It still seems a little hot to me, but we'll go with that for now and we'll see if, uh, if you can hear all right. Okay. So this morning I want to talk a little bit about, uh, responsibility. Maybe in a way that you haven't heard it or thought about it before. So don't bail out on me too quick. It's not going to be too tough on the toes, but maybe a little bit. You know, I tap dance on toes here every once in a while. Before I get started with that though, a quick reminder that it's Tuesday. That means the radio show's coming up at eight o'clock. You can listen to that live over the air, WTKI radios at 1450 AM, 929 FM. You can listen at WTKIRadio.com or the very best place to listen is talkradioforentrepreneurs.com. That way you can watch and participate through comments. Uh, and that's in about an hour. All right. Responsibility. So here's the thing. If you believe that someone else is responsible for your circumstances, then you also necessarily believe that it's up to them to fix it. Me, personally, I don't like to believe that I am operating at the mercy of someone else's uh, whims or abilities to fix a condition in my favor. I just think that's a uh, kind of a bad way to go about it, right? You can be responsible for your own outcomes, right? So when you say, yeah, well, the market conditions are really bad, they might be really bad. But is everybody having the same trouble you are? Is everybody failing? As long as one person is able to be successful, then you can too. And that's a hard truth. That's the hard truth, right? It's easy to say, ah, the market's down. Here's a better one. Oh, it's summer. It's summer. Nobody's buying anything. Everybody's on vacation. Whatever excuse you want to make, it's summertime. It'll come back in the fall. Baloney. Right? I mean, if that were true, every business would just close up shop in the summer. But they don't, so it's not, so you can't either. Right? So market conditions, that's a great one. Competition's one we like to blame all the time. We talked about that Um in the last two weeks, we've talked about competition. I think it was two weeks ago. You know, your real competition is whoever's getting the dollar today that you want tomorrow. So that other outlet, that other company, that other person, your fellow employee, that you're all competing for the same thing. Don't measure yourself against them. Measure yourself against you. You take responsibility for your results take responsibility for changing them and creating the circumstances where you can get the results you want and be successful. Look, I'm going to make it a really short show today for two reasons. One's because I think that's all it takes to get that point across. Number two, I got to get the heck out of here and get down to downtown so I can do the radio show. Brooke actually has a really good point there. Sometimes it works the other way around. And client has more time to work with you in the summer. You know, I, I, my my point is, don't let, 
I used to tell the kids this when I was teaching the kids about driving the car, you know, they're all the time worried about the car behind them. Should I go? Should I go? The car's behind me. Like, don't let the person in the car behind you drive your car. Right. If this is your business, this is your livelihood, even if it's your job and you're and you're working for somebody else, don't let somebody else make your decisions for you. Don't let somebody else tell you you can't. That's like, oh, I heard a great one one time. Don't take no from someone who can't tell you yes. You know, I was just talking with my beautiful bride this morning before we got started. She was talking about some trouble they're having with their internet provider in their office. And, and, and just relating some of the, the phone call conversations that went on, like that's such horrible customer service. Right. And, and if they say, well, that's all I've done, then that, what that really means, or that's all I can do. What that really means is that's all I know how to do. Like, okay, then let me talk to somebody else. Maybe they'll be smarter than you are. (gasps) Mm, That's kind of snarky. I might not be that bad unless they've been bad to me. The point is, whether it's your internet service, whether it's your car, whether it's your business, don't let somebody else dictate your conditions. Only you can do that. You can't be a victim if you don't believe you're a victim. That And that's not me. That's Eleanor Roosevelt, right? I'm paraphrasing. All right. Don't let somebody else dictate your conditions. You take responsibility for the conditions you're in. And look, and I'll even give you a great example. I had a business, well, almost 15 years ago. It was 15 years ago. Business was going great. Partner and I got sideways. Didn't end well. Very, very unpretty. Very unpretty. And... I was mad about that for a a good long while. And then I realized, you know what? Me being mad about this is only ruining my day, not ruining his day. He didn't even know I'm mad. All right. So I had to accept. I had to find something that I could accept responsibility for. So I accepted responsibility for making a bad choice of business partner. I forgave myself for that. And then I was able to move on. Right. You take responsibility for the conditions. Then you have control. But as long as you say the conditions are the result of somebody else and something else and things that are outside of my control, you're just in a dinghy floating on the water, waiting for it to go wherever it's going to take you. I don't like to be in that condition. Folks, if this is the kind of message that you think you uh, could benefit from. I would encourage you to go check out Fast Five. Actually, I should have put that up earlier. Bing, bang, just like that. Fast Five. I know, I know. If you have been to look at it in the last couple of weeks, there was a problem. That problem is resolved. <laughs> the pay gate is removed. 100% free. Go in there and check it out. Five steps to start creating results in your life and in your business. I encourage you to go check that out. Share that and this video with your friends. Remember, radio shows coming up at the top of the hour. Don't miss that. Talk radio for entrepreneurs.com. Otherwise, I'll see. Will I? Yes, tomorrow. <clears throat> tomorrow, the show will be coming to you live from the road. Don't miss that. It'll be interesting. You have to see where we're, where we're coming from. Not in Alabama. Not in Texas. Somewhere else. All right, you guys have a terrific Tuesday. Talk to you again in the morning.